Brown is simply requested that the motion be denied. Uh, Mr. Coburn, do you have a question? Mr. Coburn? I'll be uh, very brief, Your Honor. Uh, I think that uh, the uh, state's uh, counsel uh, points out the problem here. Uh, he has conceded that uh, he has not been able to himself uh, to complete a review of the record uh, in this case. Uh, and well, the ontologist had said the finding would make no difference. Is that not reflected in the record? I believe so, but I can't say for certain because well, the opposing counsel, I've been going to midnight oil, going through 10,000 pages of transcript. And that's what I've been doing. I mean, there's a good day of midnight. I know it. I went through it. Right. And we conducted an evidentiary hearing on the very point that they had. They brought down some pictures that showed his teeth as they were photographed when he was booked. And <clears throat> the distinction was made concerning an alleged chip of one of the front teeth that occurred while he was incarcerated. And if I'm not right under the Supreme Court's decision in Russell that it is appropriate for this court to consider the relief uh, that we uh, have requested. Uh, they question whether we have made a sufficient showing in the affidavit. They question whether the affidavit should have been uh, uh, prepared. I, I assume they question whether it should have been signed by Mr. Bundy. Uh, but uh, I think it's significant that they concede that the Supreme Court's decision in Russell recognizes in certain circumstances under this court's authority, under the Florida Constitution, that it may be appropriate uh, to grant uh, relief of the limited nature that we see in order to preserve the court's jurisdiction to consider substantial issues. Now, the, the state also, uh, we may have cited uh, two cases uh, decided by the Florida Supreme Court uh, that they maintain support the proposition that this tactic, as they describe it, of us coming into the court. Well, both counsel kind of identified each other, didn't they? The Supreme Court is actually ruled on it. That's Monday against State at 455 South 2nd, 336, as this court reckons. I find that there's no arguable position as it relates to the aspect of the inefficiency of counsel set forth upon which a stay may be granted. Moving to the second issue, the paid issue. The record will reflect that this court conducted a competency proceeding and, in fact, appointed two fairly eminent psychiatrists and heard the testimony of both the defendant, the defendant's argument on behalf of the defendant's counsel and the record as it related to the findings of the psychiatrist and ruled as a matter of law in the proceeding that the defendant was competent to stand trial. That particular issue is not, was not attacked as this court reads the opinion in the appeal in chief, and the court finds no colorable or arguable position upon which a meaningful 3850 could be granted, and I have not a motion for stay. Thank you, Mr. Is that also a denial as to the... Uh, a denial as to the other relief. It's still until a proper predicate is shown. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, All right, please.